welcome to pouches and more and today we'll prepare this simple pouch we have put a piping in this this is the piping so this is how it looks we have used a contrast fabric we have also put a wristlet so we can hold it like this it's completely lined from inside it's quite spacious there are no pockets so we have kept a clip phone cash some makeup there are no raw edges inside so this is how it will be looking so let's check out the materials required to make this pouch we require one piece of main fabric fused with the facing and this measures 7 and quarter by 10 and quarter and two pieces of lining and this measures 7 inches by 10 inches we require one piece of main fabric fused with interfacing and this measures 4 and 3 fourth inches by 10 and quarter inches one piece of false leather fused with interfacing 2 and 3 fourth inches by 10 inches two pieces of fabric for the tab measuring 2 and half inches by 2 inches main fabric we have fused only a half inch we have left half inch and then fused it and this measures 3 inches by 3 inches the same thing we have done for the wristlet also main fabric and leaving half inch we have fused it with half inch strip and this measures again 3 inches by 14 inches piping fabric we have used it measures 11 inches by one and half inches and we have also used the piping thread and this measures around 11 inches long quilting material measuring seven and quarter inches by ten and quarter inches and a 10 inch long zip so these are all the materials required to make this pouch first we we'll prepare the piping for that we we'll just put the thread right in the center of the piping fabric like this and we will be stitching it very close to the thread so we will fold it like this and we will be stitching it very close to the thread we will do this for the entire piping fabric now for attaching the piping we have cut the extra thread from one side and we will be taking the main fabric right side facing up we are going to place the piping raw edges together so the thread piping will be inside and we are making a stitch over here now once this is done we have to attach the leather so for that we will put it right side facing down and we'll just align the raw edges and clip them together we have to make a straight stitch on this also so here right sides are together now the place where we stitched initially we'll make a stitch on that so we finished doing the stitch and this is how it will be looking now from doing the top stitch we are going to put the seams towards the fabric like this and we will be making a simple straight stitch over here that is for the top stitch so one side of the fabric is ready we have finished it and we have done the top stitch now we are going to we have fused both the fabrics so now we need to quilt them for that we will just turn them to the wrong side and on the wrong side we are going to place the quilting material and quilt this so on both the front and back pieces we will be quilting it we will be quilting only the down part over here not the top part and on the back side we are going to quilt the entire fabric I finish quilting the back side is completely and the front part only the down that is the fabric part now we want to cut this to size 7 inches by 10 inches both of them we are just going to cut the sides 
both of them we are going to cut it now also we'll be attaching the fabric label this is completely optional so we attached uh, we have cut the fabric 7 inches by 10 inches and we also attached the fabric label i've just hand stitched this in case i don't want i'll remove it later on now the zip we needed 1 inch shorter than the main fabric so the main fabric is 10 inches will require 9 9 inch long zip so it is going to measure 9 inches on this zipper tape and we're going to make a marking so this is our 9 inch long zip and we're going to cut the extra we're just going to cut the extra zipper tape on both the sides now once we have cut this we'll take the tab fabric fold it in half and we're going to get the raw edges to the center fold that we just did and we'll be insert inserting the raw edge of the zip into this so the raw edges of the tab fabric is also in the center and there we are going to insert the raw edge of the zipper tape also and we are going to make a stitch on this this is how we will be completing the zipper tape now here we are just going to clip this together we will do the same thing on the other side also so here we are going to make a stitch now this is for the zipper tape now this part, this is for the d-ring tag so here what we are going to do is we have we will just fold it like this in half and we will get the raw edges again to the center and half inch fusing we have put into uh, sorry fusible interfacing so here we are going to make a stitch now the exact same thing we will be doing for the wristlet also so here also leaving half inch we have fused it again we are going to just fold it over here we are going to get the raw edge to the center that is a long raw edge to the center where we just folded it and we are going to make another fold so we get both the raw edges to the center this is how we do the wristlet when we are inserting a, a swivel clasp now in this we won't be stitching the whole thing So here we are just going to leave around one and a half to two inches on both the sides and we are going to make a stitch in the center only. So both sides around one and a half inch to two inch will be leaving and we will complete stitching all of them. So we finish stitching the tab. And the D-ring also. We are just going to insert this into the D-ring and keep it. So this is done. Now we will also take the wristlet fa fabric. Insert it into the wristlet like this. D-ring of the wristlet. And we are going to get the right sides together. So we are just going to open it like this. The ends we are going to open it. See that they are absolutely straight. Align the edges. So right sides of the wristlet will be together, align the edges, raw edges and clip them neatly. Even the paper we are going to clip them together. So we have opened one side of the wristlet like this and we are going to make a simple straight stitch on this. So first we are going to stitch the raw ends of the wristlet which we left. So here we are going to make a stitch. Our wristlet will be done. And we are also going to cut extra fabric over here. So finish cutting the extra fabric. We have made a stitch on this. Now this we have stitched. And we will be completing the wristlet. We are just going to ch uh, cut the corners. Extra fabric on the corners. And we will be completing the wristlet. So for that we are again going to fold it. How we folded the entire wristlet flatten the seams 
or else the fabric will be too much on one side so we're just going to flatten the seams neatly again fold it in half get the raw edges to the center over here also and complete it so once we do that here we have first folded got the raw edges to the center so here we got the raw edges to the center now we'll put them together and complete it so here we're just going to again complete stitching on both the sides so we're going to stitch both the sides over here and complete this wristlet so we've made the stitch now where we have the seam we're just going to put the wristlet over there put the straps together and make a stitch just to hold the wristlet in one place I will take the main fabric the quilted fabrics and the base side not the top the base side we're just going to curve it that is only because we don't need a sharp corner we're just going to make a slight curve you can do that with any circular object so we're going to do this only on the base and we'll be doing this on the base of all the fabrics so on one side we have done it so one side we have done it we'll do the same thing first we're going to cut this now we have cut this we'll do the same thing on the other side of the main fabric as well as the two lining fabrics so we're just going to cut the base only the base part we're going to cut it so our fabrics are ready all the base is cut now we need to attach the zip so for that we're just going to make a center marking on our main fabric for that we'll be folding it like this in half make a marking this is the center marking now we'll take our zip which we prepared and we'll make a center marking on the zip also on both sides of the tape we're going to do this both sides of the tape we're just going to fold it like this and make a center marking and I will put the right side facing down that is the slider facing down so we are going to open it like this it's going to be opening from the left to right now the right side is facing up of the main fabric the slider side will be facing down on the main fabric and we are going to align the raw uh, sorry the middle center marks that we just did we just align it clip them neatly in a straight line and stitch them together so we will first clip them together we need to make a stitch on this before that we'll just put the lining fabric also right side facing down now my fabric does not have a right or wrong side but otherwise it will be right side will be facing down and we are going to again align it from the side as well as the top and clip them together so here the right sides are together and the zip is in between so we are going to make a simple straight stitch over here our straight stitch is done now before now before we make the top stitch we are just going to attach the d-ring tab over here so for that we are just going to place it like this the d-ring will be inside and the raw edge will be aligning the raw edge so the d-ring is inside and the raw edge is outside we're going to make a stitch so here we have made a stitch we'll cut the extra fabric so we have done that now we'll make the top stitch so for that we'll put both the fabrics on one side we're just going to finger press the seam neatly align the egg fabrics neatly first and then we'll be making a top stitch over here so it's a simple straight stitch that we'll be doing our one side is done now for the other side we're going to take the main fabric again right side facing down align it from the side and the top and clip them together that is the zip and the fabric main fabric we're going to clip them together so here the main fabric right sides are together we'll just flip them over on the lining fabric side we're going to place the lining fabric again aligned from the side and the top and we're going to clip all the fabrics to 
together over here so here right sides together of the lining fabric and here right sides together of the main fabric straight stitch now in the same way once our straight stitch is done same way we just need to make a top stitch so put the fabrics together on one side finger press it neatly and make a top stitch with a simple straight stitch so both sides top stitches done and our main fabric is ready now we'll put them together like this that is the main fabric right sides together we need to make a stitch all around now we need to make a stitch all around on the lining fabric side we'll be leaving an opening that is to turn the entire pouch to the right side so here we're going to make a stitch from here to here we need to turn it from here before turning it we're just going to cut all the extra fabrics or else we'll make small cuts in the corner curved part so this is how we'll be doing we'll do small cuts like this on the curved part and we'll be doing this on all four corners we'll do this on all four corners now on the lining fabric we can also just cut off the extra fabric in case we don't want to make small cuts we'll just remove the extra fabric but don't cut the opening that we left only the curved part will be cutting the extra fabric be careful not the not to cut the stitching now once the extra fabric is gone we will be flattening the seams so we need to flatten the seam all around not only on the opening but all around so we're just going to flatten it like this all around and we'll be doing this even on the main fabric that is the quilted side also we'll be flattening it completely the seams everything so here also we'll flatten it and we'll flatten the main fabric also all around now once it is flattened from here we're just going to turn it to the right side remember to keep the zip open So let's turn to the right side now this is the opening before we stitch this where we have joined the lining and the main fabric that is this part flatten the both the seams again and then get them together so we have a neat corner over here this is how the corner will be looking so it will look neat and aligned we'll do the same thing on the other side also so before we stitch the opening we're just going to the part where the main fabric and the lining fabric are stitched together that part we are going to flatten the seams neatly together neatly sorry and then we'll get the lining and the main fabrics together we'll put them together that is we are going to insert the lining on the main fabric so doing that we get a flat finish like this over here now once that is done we just going to flatten the entire pouch push the seams out neatly all around and now we are going to stitch the opening so once everything is pushed neatly out we'll just stitch the opening over here since we have flattened the seams already it won't be difficult in stitching so it's a simple stretch set that we'll be doing now our seams are already stitched this is how it looks we're just going to insert the entire lining fabric into the pouch and our pouch will be completely ready so there are no raw edges inside and this is how it looks 
simple to make. So please do try this. We are also going to put the bracelet over here. Please do subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.